you doing guys? I wanted to talk to you really quick about uh, this owner operator's truck here. He brought this truck in here and I overnighted him an injector from Highway and Heavy Parts. Uh, he had one bad injector, number one was bad. We threw it in here, um, told him to come get it, so he headed over here, grabbed it. He didn't even make it 20 miles down the road and that same injector failed, that brand new injector. Um, I want to point out to you guys that when you're dealing with trucks that are this old, this has got an old 5EK in it. Uh, that's almost 30 years ago that uh, this engine was built. So any injector that I throw in this thing, it doesn't matter who I get it from, even if I get it directly from Cat, it's going to have been remanned multiple times. So it's really hit and miss no matter where you get injectors from. So what I try to focus on and what this story is about is what happens if one of those dozens of reman timed injectors fails like this one did. It only made it about 20, didn't even make it to the end of our driveway really. So I didn't even go a whole mile and you could tell there was something wrong and brought it back. So if I had got this injector from Cat, here's my rub. Cat would have made me buy another injector, give them that one back, and then months and months from now, maybe they would have warrantied it. How does that work with my relationship with my customer, right? And how much risk am I taking on if I have to do that? So highway heavy parts injector, I called them. They overnighted me another one. We got this guy going right away. I sent the other one back to him uh, same day. Uh, we got the injector this morning and I gave the uh, core back to the UPS guy because Highway Navy Park gave me a label. Everything was so seamless and smooth. This guy, he was down for one extra day, sure, but only one extra day. I don't have a bunch of hassle. He didn't get hassles at all. As far as he knows, he's just down for an extra day and he's right back after. This new injector seems to be working properly. Like I said, when you're dealing with 30 year old injectors, it's hit or miss. What you need to focus on is what's my aftercare gonna be like? So not only did I pay a lot less for the injector in the first place, my aftercare is phenomenal. That's what you should care about, in my opinion.